Yo guys, hello, it's Sang Healy here, and let's talk about Optic Halo. Now, I'm a big Halo esports fan, and I'm actually, I wouldn't say I'm an Optic fan, but I quite like Optic. And uh, sorry about the fan, guys, it's annoying, I know. But the uh, thing is, I don't think they're ever going to win a tournament with the team they've got. Um, and the reason why, I like to talk about the players. So, first of all, you've got Naded. Now, Nader has got nothing to prove. He's been on the scene for a long time. And um, you look at his CV, you probably won't even find a better CV in, in Halo at the moment. The guy is a monster. You know, yeah, he, doesn't, he hasn't won that many tournaments. He always comes second. He's famous for it. But, you know, I think Nader's is okay. I think he's a good, good player for Optic. And that brings me on to Ace. Ace has literally zero to prove, in my opinion. He's a monster. He's a Halo 4 world champion. You know, it's a free-for-all, right? It's a bit different to being team-based, but the guy's still really good. Um, and I don't think he has anything to prove. The only two problems I have is really is Flame Sword and, um, and Maniac. Now, in my opinion, Maniac's a very good player. I mean, to be fair, he went off pretty bad, pretty good in this uh, in PAX East. He played very, very well with the sniping shots. Uh, the old no scopes, they were pretty crazy. The crowd going mental, but I can't help to think the crowd were going mental because optic, you know, and they just ex they just want to see them do well. I mean, a lot of people do. Like I said, I'm an optic fan. I actually like to see optic do well. They're this monster brand. I mean, obviously, you're talking about console esports here, not PC. They are the biggest brand out there. I mean, they probably are the biggest brand, you know, probably popularity wise overall. I mean, in in on PC, they're nothing, obviously, but they are very very popular. You know, on YouTube, and and their personalities are great. I mean, I'm a massive big time a fan. I love Nade Shot, even though he's not really optic anymore. But yeah, I love them all. And but then and then that brings me on to Flame Sword. Now Flame Sword's kind of the leader of optic. And to be fair, in my opinion, he isn't the best player out there at the moment. And <clears throat> I never watched Flame Sword, and I thought, wow, that guy is freaking good. That guy is amazing. That guy, you know, I'd hate to play him. You know, I always look at him and think, you know. You know, I'm a pretty good Halo player. I'm nowhere near the same level as even Flamesword, don't get me wrong. But I think maybe I would stand a chance against playing him. Because he isn't, he isn't like, when you watch Frosty, and when you watch Royal 2, I know Royal 2 is the best, but then, and even when you watch Ace and when you watch Nader, they are phenomenal players. And the way they move and the way they do stuff is amazing. Uh, but I never watched Flamesword and thought, wow, that kid, that guy's amazing. And to be fair, I think, I know he's a leader. I think it'd be better taking a step back and maybe just, Playing in the team rather than being a leader, maybe Ace or Naded. Especially Naded being a leader of Optic is is is. I think that'd be a good good decision. But you know that's just some one man's opinion. And um, basically, don't get me wrong. I'm not hating on Flame Sword. I actually really enjoy his videos, and I'm actually probably watch Flame Sword at the moment on YouTube more than most other you know, Halo YouTubers, because Halo YouTubers aren't exactly big um, or popular, really. You've got Jimbo doing some good uploads for the old UK, but other than that, it's not it's not amazing. Um, so, Flame Sword, in my opinion, don't get me wrong, he's a really nice guy, and I love watching his videos. I love his personality, but, you know, esports-wise, I just think they need to shake up their team, because they're getting nowhere. I mean, look at PAX East. They did good in their first game, and then they just got absolutely destroyed in their others. They didn't even realize like, they stood a chance, in my opinion. Um, so I think they need to maybe keep the same team, but just shake it up. That's what I think. Anyway, see you in the next one.